Hello, all you skeptics drivers. I hope you're having a lovely day, and welcome to the third and final Inktober flip through and speed page. Ah, I'm so glad to show you this. I'm so glad this is finished. <laughs> yeah, because I I can say it. I officially, if you have not been following me on Instagram, you, you'll hear it first here. This is the official news. I has completed October. Yeah, the week after November started. <laughs> oh well. I wanted to keep with my bi-weekly Tuesday schedule, so it's like, well, I could have uploaded an extra video, but then I wouldn't have had anything to do for now, because, uh, yeah, if you're watching this in November 2017, then I am in the process of writing a whole novel in one month because of National Novel Writers Month. So I went straight from Inktober drawing every day to writing every day. My wrist is going to kill me. <laughs> Any hoosies, um, for those of you who... Maybe this is your first video. I have a link in the description to not one, not two, but three videos that include a introductory video. So if you just, if you just want to see the pieces I've made for Inktober, you can just click on the first and second. Yeah, I'll post them in that order. Because I mean, the internet is just like, eh, well, eh. If you want to see the inspiration directly of what I'm drawing, then hey. Any hoosies. Um, last week of Inktober was definitely one of the harder ones for me because with preparing to write for November and starting to lose steam, definitely losing steam, I have this very bad habit of starting a project, getting really deep in, into it, and really... I'm really motivated in the beginning and even in the halfway point, I do lose a little bit of steam, but I'm still like, yeah, let's keep going. Cause I'm at the halfway point. Woo it's more like somewhere along the three quarter ish part. I'm like, why am I still doing this? <laughs> I want to do something else. <laughs> and I don't know why it's, it's been like that for at least a year now. Cause ever since I've been trying to make a point to finish projects and do more 30 day challenges. That is usually around the time where I just lose most of my motivation. It's through sheer determination and self-discipline that I end up finishing these projects, which honestly, that makes me happier in the long run. So even though I get all whiny and stuff, at least internally, I don't usually, <laughs> I don't usually tell people cause it's like, well, why are you still doing it? Well, I don't want to finish the thing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, one of the things I also tried to do was spice things up a bit or take a little bit of artistic license. And that is what you will see happening with the speed paint that you are watching with the little snippets of the flip through in between. Um, this piece was a part of a story that kind of, kind of broke my heart in the beginning. And I really felt for one of the characters, even though, again, it's artistic license because the story... What ultimately happens is two men work for a blacksmith and they both fall in love with the maid who works there. And so one day they both head back and are like, Hey, we want to, we both want this maid. We want her as our bride. And the blacksmith agrees to put them to a test. Whoever leaves, or I think it's like they either enter a room or they leave a room. They, they're supposed to come out up. There are two doors and they're supposed to come out and whoever the woman chose chooses to go with, that's the one who gets to marry her. So she makes her decision, but then the other guy gets mad and attacks the other guy. And then he ends up taking her away anyway. <laughs> so it's like, wait a minute. No, <laughs> I felt so bad for her. Cause it's like, really, what was the whole point of that then? Uh, it like, it's like, I don't even know the illusion of choice, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's the beginning of the story and it pretty much follows kind of a similar pattern that I've been noticing with a lot of these stories is that a person will approach this king and ask to be his servant for a year and a day or for a certain allotted period of time. And he agrees to it and then usually you kind of just follow the men off to their journey and stuff. But one part that was really interesting to me was when this man and this his wife now 
when they go to this man's castle, there it states specifically that there are only women there for a time. Like, that all the men have gone off to hunt. I found that really peculiar. Like, why don't they leave, like, guards or, you know. I just found it really weird that they specifically said that only the women were there. And so this guy, he leaves to try and convince this man to take him under as a servant. And, yeah, so then it follows them. So what I did for this picture was because it said that the women were just kind of left there, these men, they go out hunting almost daily. And they're gone for hours upon hours on end. So these women are just kind of left alone. I thought maybe that they would form some, either some friendships or at least, you know, at least a sense of camaraderie. Because chances are, with just how some of these stories have been playing out, a good portion of them probably didn't choose their husbands either. So I thought maybe they could find comfort in being good friends with one another. And so I made, for this piece, the main woman in the beginning I made her have the dark colored dress and kind of be the main focus of the piece and that maybe some of the other girls are doing her hair and that's where she finally opens up and it's like I didn't choose this man but I you know I didn't have a choice so ultimately I'm just kind of here and yeah and a lot of them understand I think I don't know in my head it does make sense okay <laughs> it's Again, I had to come up with something else because a lot of these have stuff, they just started to follow some patterns and I don't know if that was purely intentional or just maybe just some spillover because this generally does take place around the timeline of one character. At least this story does. And a couple of the other pieces that you will see me flip through, it's just that I don't know. I think after seeing that story repeated and repeated time and time again, only just a few differences, it's like, huh, okay, I got to do something different this time around. We're not going to draw giants again. Another serpent, okay? So, yeah, I thought I'd take that snippet and just go with it. But, um, yeah, so if you guys want to read any of these stories, by the way, one of my scrumptious strawberries and kitten, she... Uh, she found a collection of these stories online and shared the link with me. So thank you very much for that kitten. I'll put it in the description. If you guys want to read these stories, they're very fascinating. I, I will say like, I definitely have never read anything like this before. And it kind of is a shame that they don't take some of these stories and do something with them. Cause I mean, there are so many, like the brothers Grimm tales, they're great, but you see a lot of them used so many times. It's like, we can try other stuff too. <laughs> Just saying. I'm getting off the topic now. But um, thanks again, everybody, for following me on this journey with Inktober. It's been really enjoyable getting to read through this book. And actually, one of the problems I had with this story was that, or this book, was that it didn't have enough stories for Inktober. But because I decided to dedicate more than one piece for certain tales, I ended up with an extra story. So either sometime by the end of this year, or just hopefully in the future, if I don't have another video planned, I'll do another speed paint and maybe I'll even color it. We'll find out. So yeah, so I hope you can look forward to that. But until then, I think, yeah, I think, I think I'm done. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely November. And if you're participating in National Novel Writers Month, or if you participate in Inktober, whew, <laughs> I has found camaraderie with me. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, you can tell I'm done with this. <laughs> it's been great, but yeah, I gotta get going. Thanks again, everybody, for watching, and um, to my American viewers, I hope you have a lovely Thanksgiving, and with holidays and stress coming by, yeah. We'll survive, guys. We'll make it. We'll make it. But just take deep breaths. And remember, it will. It it it's not. It won't last forever. But yeah, we'll make it. <laughs> Until next time, guys. <laughs>